What up, man? What up, though? It's your boy, DME. All right, boys, let's get into this this guy, man. Joe Buttons, man. All right, so first of all, he had said a while back that, um, remember when he was talking about the whole Summer Impact Reloaded fight situation with Murder Mook and Calico and all that? He went on his show and they were talking about it. They were him and him and New Rory and Ma were talking about it. And they were, uh, Joe was like, oh, this was an RBE event. And then he was like, uh, he didn't know what city it was. And then they were like, it's in New York. There's no way it was in New York. I don't believe that for a second. You know, and they didn't even watch the uh, pay-per-view. They just uh, heard about the fight. They saw clips of the fight. They talked about it for 20 minutes. And then uh, Hitman tweeted out something, something, something. And I was like, at, at, at Joe Budden, I forgot what it was. And then I, I tweeted at it. I responded. I go, Joe Budden doesn't even know, didn't even know uh, where Summer Impact Reloaded was. He thought it was on the RB card. Uh, did he ever make a correction on that? That's the question we need to ask him. Joe Budden actually responded to that tweet saying, I did. Uh, uh, I mentioned it was URL at the beginning. It was an honest mistake. And y'all like to make uh, people who support the culture into villains. Oh, cry me a river, Joe Budden. First of all, you said it two or three different times that it was RB. Okay? During your afterwards. So if you said it at the beginning, then how did you get it so wrong? And then it was, and then you didn't know what city it was in? Like, come on, man. All right, fine. If, let's, 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 let's assume it was, a, it was an honest mistake. I just asked if you corrected the... the the record on your podcast don't sit here and start crying are you in anyone want to paint me as the villain shut up all right you're such a cry baby you're so bad ugh. You, you, ugh. this guy bro all right and, and, and then he's talking about oh i support the culture like like please pro uh, please why why because you bought a couple of pay-per-views like uh, oh like what are you talking about all right then he wants to go on his podcast and he said what he said about clips i don't even care about that right he doesn't think clips is the greatest Whatever, I, I mean, I think Clips was on that trajectory, but then, you know, he slipped up, so he's not, I, you know, whatever, that's an opinion. But then, he had the nerve to get on there and then accuse K-Shine of having a ghostwriter, bro? Accuse K-Shine of having a ghostwriter with zero proof? Well, this is what people have taught, I've heard people say this. You, 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 sh- Bro, like, this guy, bro, he's, 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 he's something else, man. All right, and then he wants to do a loaded lux and daylight. He wants to sponsor it. He's talking about, I got the money. I'll put up the bag. I hate that word. I think, Joe Budden, you're the one who made that stupid word, like, fame. The bag. The bag. Shut up. Take your bag and shut your mouth. All right? Yeah, the bag. Right, you don't get money in a bag. All right, what are we doing here? All right, I'd rather get a check. Stupid. The bag. Anyways, it's just because it's just it came from him, it's annoying. Otherwise, it probably would have been cool. But, uh... <laughs> but you're going to sit there and accuse K-Shine of ghostwriting, all right? And then act like, w- w- why is everybody upset about that? I don't, I don't understand. Well, you know, if you're going to... if you're gonna, you, you, Like, you don't understand. You, you know more than anybody, all right? That's an accusation that has to have 100% facts behind it and proof. All right, you can't just spit that out there and put that on somebody that you don't know, especially with a guy with this stupid little platform, all right, which you're talking to all these people, and now you got everybody thinking now K-Shine's got a ghostwriter with no proof, no nothing. You just run your mouth, tell them, I love the culture. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't tell. I can't tell. And we don't need you to love the culture. And this, that. Just stop lying and get your facts straight. And actually, if you love the culture, I think you would have been watching Summer Impact Reloaded and not just heard about it and then called it an RBE event three separate times. And then get all offended when people corrected you. I'm just trying to help out. I've done all this stuff. I'm, you know, I did the hollow battle just to make the... Uh, shut up. All right? You act like we didn't hear the interviews leading up into that hollow battle. We know exactly why you did the hollow battle. All right? Your story changes every other day for everything. All right? You, you literally are the bipolar. You are the most bipolar person I've ever met. Salute to you. Because, you know what? Maybe I'm, I'm a little bit bipolar. So maybe we I have a little connection there with you. All right? But you be changing your story every single time. You change your story about why you dropped that mic on that stage Three different times I heard you say a different story for. All right, so you know I don't want you to throw no damn loaded lux daylight battle 
on a Joe Budden league and he said in a quiet room with nobody there. You know how dumb that would be? Like, do you, do you guys, do you understand anything? Like, that quiet room, even the smack volumes and the band, these are all whatever, man. They're not, they don't make for good battles. Like, show me, like, yeah, there's a couple, there's, there's some, you know, maybe some anomalies here and there, but come on, man. You know, even Geechee and Rum Nitty, that was all in that, was in that smack volume setting. It was so quiet. Nobody was reacting to anything. And you guys just, oh, you guys want to be about the purest of hell. Like, shut your mouth. This is battle rap, man. Y'all are trying to make this into some cipher stuff, man. We're gonna. This is a. This is a cipher now, and we're gonna see who the greatest rapper is, with, with all the lyrical miracle nonsense spitting your stupid words that nobody cares about. Oh, I could go watch Joe Budden's stupid. Uh, what is it? Uh, when he was on uh, Funk Master Flex, bro. It's terrible, man. He's spitting a bunch of mumbo jumbo. I didn't do it. And nobody. It doesn't. Nothing means anything. Nothing connects. Nothing makes sense. It's just. It's just words, bro. They're just words spit together. I've never been a fan of that. I don't care about that. All right. I like stories. I like. I like you to actually say something in, in your rhymes like not just you know spit a bunch of nonsense bro like you're playing gymnastics you're playing word gymnastics all right I take your word gymnastics somewhere else that's why that's why pox the goat bro that's why pox the goat all right and that's why I'll, that's why i hate you people out there not lyrical. and last thing he's like all these battle rappers or they be doing these response blogs you're and, and that's track your whole podcast is a response blog to everything. Joe, your whole podcast, that's what it is. It's a response to the industry and what's going on. So when someone else does it, oh, you guys getting all in your feelings. Like, whatever, man. You know, Joe Budden, you, you never cease to amaze me. Please don't get in the battle rap game, bro. We don't need it. All right. It'll be another total slaughter disaster. Nobody cares about. All right, you, just your thoughts already. With you putting, let's put daylight and loaded lux in a room with nobody in it, and we'll shoot it. Uh, uh, whatever, bro. Go go watch the podcast. They'll name later. But did they name me? Oh, they named it yet? Oh, the. But uh, listen, man, I don't know what else to say, bro. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I can't. I'm driving to work, bro. And it's just like, you got Born Legacy 8. We'll be live tonight, by the way. The Born Legacy 8 uh, after party. Yeah, I couldn't make it to Cleveland. All right. But I will find out what happened and I will report on it. We will talk about it tonight. No, I wasn't there. But I will find out what happened and we will talk about it. Because there's nothing wrong with that. Anyone who thinks there's something wrong with that, don't watch. Love you guys. Peace.